Hello, this is Cool Garden Things, and today we're going to be talking about choosing a garden that is perfect for you. You see, there are many different types of gardens, and often it can be hard to pick just one. But by narrowing it down first, you'll make the gardening experience easier on yourself and the plants. For example, if all your plants are similar, then it should be easy to take care of them. So here are some of the main garden ideas for you to consider. If you're just looking for something to look nice in our, your yard, you'll want a flower garden. Now these are usually filled with what's called perennial flowers. Perennial flowers are flowers which stay healthy all year round. They're basically similar to weeds because of their hardiness, only they look a lot nicer. Now depending on your area and climate, you'll have different flowers which are considered perennials. If you do a quick internet search for your area, you can easily find a list of flowers that will bring your flower garden to life. These usually require work in the planning stage, and after that, the flowers take care of themselves. Now another choice you can do for your garden is to have a vegetable garden. Vegetable gardens usually require a little more work and research than a flower garden, but can be much more rewarding. And no matter what time of the year it is, you can usually find one vegetable that is still prospering. And by planning accordingly, you can have your garden give you produce almost every day of the year. Now when starting a vegetable garden, you should build it with a thought in mind that you'll be adding more types of veggies in later. This will help you in your planning and expansion process. Meaning, once all your current crops are out of season, you won't be stuck with nowhere to put the new crops. Now a vegetable garden is ideal for someone who wants some produce, but doesn't want to devote every waking hour to, to perfecting their garden. And lastly, one of the more difficult types of gardens to manage is a fruit garden. It's definitely the most high maintenance. And when growing fruits, many more pests will be attracted due to the sweetness of the fruit. Therefore, you not only have to deal with having just the right dirt and fertilizer, you have to deal with choosing how to deal with the pest. Chances are also high, depending on what part of the world you live in, that your fruit garden will not produce fruit all year round. Not only that, the soil needs to be just right for your plants to grow, so putting in another crop during its off-season could be disastrous to the growth process as well. However, if you're willing to put lots of work into maintaining a garden, then a fruit garden could very well be a good choice for you. Now, as you can see, I've outlined some of the main garden types that people choose, and I hope it helps you make a good decision. Here's what it really boils down to. The garden type you choose should come down to what kind of product you want and how much work you want to put into it. If you're looking for no end product with very little work, then simply go with the flower garden. If you want lots of delicious product and you are willing to spend hours in your garden each day, then go for a fruit garden. And if you're somewhere in the middle, well then a vegetable garden may be just what you're looking for. Now just make sure you choose something that you can and want to handle. Thanks for tuning in and happy gardening.